Hello and welcome to the Savvy Coach channel with me, Ian. And today's a very special day. All of my PC parts have arrived, but I still have a complete PC to unbuild and clean out first, and that's going to be our first task. So this case is really nice because you can just take the side off like that. So uh, I'm going to be unplugging all of these bits along the bottom, unscrewing this and taking out the power cables. Power supply is coming out along with the hard drives and everything. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with that. This is going to be done in high speed because we want to unbox what we've got and then start an installation. And there we have the motherboard in its entirety. And at a later date, this is going to be a bit of a tinker project for me. Um, I'm gonna try and get, breathe some more life into it at a later date. But I'm gonna take it apart, make sure everything looks okay, the CPU seated, memory seated properly, everything looks fine. But one of the things I'm gonna try with the new power supply is to plug it into this and see whether it posts, just to see whether the power supply is the fault. And speaking of power supplies, that's the next thing to come out. Okay, finally we've got the power supply out. And if you take a look in there, it's not actually that dirty in there. There's some dust, but it was protected by the filter. This one, and considering it's sitting on the, sitting on the floor, it really needed it, but that's... It's quite dirty, that will need a clean out. And there's quite a lot of dirt in there. So I'm surprised that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Let's, uh... Right, so now we've done that, I might have these fans out. But I'm going to take all the cabling out that's of no use to me, like all these old SATA cables. I've actually got some replacements. And then I can start cleaning it. This is an absolute mess around here. All right, so let's start uncable managing. Oh. You might wonder what these are, apart from <laughs> wherever that came from. Where it's come from there. Um, these are actually the original front panel connectors. So they actually go up to the USB at the front and all of stuff. I think DPG driving in, that doesn't matter. I'm not worried or worried about that. Uh, so that they actually used to go through the hole and poke into the USB 3s on the back, which is a bit rubbish, really. So I might see if I can do something about that in my new PC, my new rig. So I'm going to continue cleaning this and get it all nice and shiny again and then we can unbox our new parts. So there's the fan in the top and that looks really dirty. I'm going to have to give that a good clean. It would be nice to see if I can sort of plug that into something and make it work and just make sure that it does work. But the case is looking a lot better. Honest gov, still got to do in there, it's still dirty. But I'm getting there, it's getting cleaner. Okay, so there we have one nice sparkling clean case. The fans came up rather quite nicely, uh, especially this big one. This was really filthy. I was quite surprised just how dirty this was on the top. Um, but it's nice and clean now, as is the caddies. I've had these, this section comes out. I was able to get to the fan at the front uh, and everything is now whisky clean. So I need to install these again. Um, and then that's it. I can unbox my new stuff and we can take a look at it and then we can install it. Fantastic. Okay, so we now have a nice clean case. So the next fun part is we get to open up all the goodies that Scan has sent us in this huge box. So small amount of knife. And down the sides. Okay. 
shirt. Some uh, nice bubble wrap there to keep everything nice and sturdy. Invoice. More bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. This is really, this is really well wrapped. Look at that. Look at that. I'll be popping that later. The first big bit is our RM 750i uh, Corsair power supply and then this I assume is the bit that we actually are interested in. Let's put that box to split. So it is sort of a box in a box, it's a well packed. I'll put my knife, put my knife down somewhere, where have I done with that? That place. I was going to say, I a second ago, as usual, under my nose. More bubble wrap? Oh, lots of bubble wrap actually. Oh my god. Huge amounts of bubble wrap. Right, okay. That's kind of interesting. Very gingerly. Loads and loads and loads of bubble wrap. It is absolutely right. But that is the only other thing in there. And this is the bit that we're interested in. This is our rig, or what will be our rig. I'm doing my best to hold it on the corners. But yeah, that's it. So we're going to so I'll quickly do a, uh, a bench test on that. We're going to put in the ATX power supply and the CPU power just to make sure that it it actually posts here. So I'm just going to put that back in there gently. There's no... Oh, there's actually something under there. So what I'll do is I'll have that out on the, the bubble wrap. There we go. Put that over there. Ah, that's more like it. So these are the boxes for our memory. I don't particularly need that anytime soon but there's the box for our motherboard so we'll put those inside there see what spare bits there are so the cable ah ha 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 that's the bit that I'm going to need CD why do they bother putting CDs with these things anymore how many people actually have a CD drive in their computers these days uh, probably not going to need that, and I'm probably going to get the latest drivers off of the website anyway. So let's put that back in there. But I will need the manual. Must be going to step bag. Another cable. Not so sure what that is. Uh, a few tiny screws. And the stickers and the pamphlet about AMD. There's always some bits under here as well. More cables, there's some uh, some nice set of cables. Uh, no idea what that is, but I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later. Ah, oh, some tie wraps, that's handy. Tie wraps never go on me, so I'll have those out actually. I might have these out as well, because I've got some. That, what is that? I'm going to have it out just in case I need it. Uh, I'm not going to need those, I don't think. Right, okay, so that's everything in there. Well, we'll need that. Right, because the reason I need the box is because I'm going to sit that on top of this and then I'm going to do bench testing on it uh, just to make sure that it posts before I try and put it in my case. Right, so that looks very, 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 very positive. So, um, this motherboard doesn't come with a button on it that you can just start, like, like my old board. I'll just pick this up and I can show you. You can see it's got a, a power button just there, which means I can turn it on and off from the board. This motherboard doesn't have one of those that I can see. So what I've done is I've used the two cables from my case then I can use the reset button and the start button from up there. So that's these two cables here. Uh, I've put in the graphics card 
and that has power. Uh, the ATX power supply is there and the CPU power supply is there. Now for some reason, when I first booted it up and I put the HDMI cable straight into the motherboard itself, it wouldn't give me a signal at all. I had to break out my graphics card and plug that in and power it. But as you can see, it has posted. I am in the BIOS, look at that. So based on that, I think we're good to actually put it in my case now. And I've got a better idea of where the uh, little jumpers go. So let's get on with that. Okay, so first up I'm going to put in the power supply and the reason I'm doing that is because we can actually then plug it in um, and keep it turned off. That way the case then becomes an anti-static grounding place for me, basically, because I don't have any stat bands. So I can touch the metalwork of the case and that will dissipate any static that I've built up. Right, let's put this in. Right, so that's probably going to be the best view I'm going to get of the case as it stands and uh, thankfully I've already uh, sort of checked uh, all of the feet are in the right sort of location for this but uh, the best way to do this is to grab the motherboard by the, the fan and gently ease it in at an angle so that you get the block in about the right place and Almost, almost there. There we go. That's it. That's in. Right, and then all I need to do is start wiring it up. So here's that audio header. So it's got the missing pin. So it needs to go over there like that. So I can put that on. Right, so let's start putting in some bits and bobs. So here's the ATX power supply, and I'm going to need to bend that over like this. Make sure that's in properly. Uh, we do the CPU. This one's going to be even less fun. Uh, ah, finally. Right, so now for these header switches, which I will need to refer to the manual again. Now, I used this before. That's page 20. So you have the pin layout there, so power switch is the top two on the end on the power LED, plus and minus are these first ones, so let's find those. That is the reset switch. Doesn't matter which way I'm around that goes in. That goes just there, opposite thing. And that's it, that's pretty much done. I mean, we've got USB headers to plug in and SATA cables for the power cables here. For that, I need to check which one of those is the first one and the second one. So I'm actually gonna be using um, five of these, believe it or not, because I have my OS drive, my games drive, my backup drive, Blu-ray, and then on the top, there's actually a, uh, a, a sort of a, a dock for a SATA drive or a hard drive. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll get that up 
and then we'll switch it on. Right, so finally everything is in its place. All the cables are now plugged in. The graphics card is plugged in. I've just got to plug in the power for it. And then that is the last thing I need to do. Get some slack. Dogs are going mad downstairs. There's my pin, it's not so snug. And here's my six pin. There we go, we'll tuck that back there, and there it is. So now all we have to do is turn it on and see whether it works. Okay then, here we go. This is the moment of truth. It's all together, it's plugged in, I've got a mouse and a keyboard into it, so let's plug turn it on to start off with. There's power, all oh, the fan at the back, and at the top are working, they're actually going. That one isn't though, for some reason. Why aren't you working? Hmm, have to work on that. And it's a post, it works, fantastic. There we go, all the effort was worth it. It's booting into Windows. Ah, that's because I had uh, I, my uh, original OS is currently plugged in. <laughs> that's amazing, it's actually picked up Windows. I'm gonna format it anyway and install a fresh copy of Windows because I've got no idea what condition that Windows was installed under. But uh, that's, that's interesting, really interesting. But it works. That I wasn't expecting that it was going to boot into Windows. I didn't think that had happened, but there we go. Uh, use the, the correct mouse, and yeah, there we are. What a surprise. Turn up with the books. There we have one working built PC, which I can now button up. I need to work out why this isn't running at the moment. Don't quite get that. So, uh, something for my next tinkering thing. I think I might be able to plug that straight into the uh, a header on the motherboard. But great, there we go. One built computer, solid and working. I sure. Let's wrap this up then. So, now that I've got a post and I'm into the BIOS, I'm just going to leave it as it is. First thing I need to do is install an operating system and get it up to date and stable before I do anything else like overclocking which isn't really sort of the thing that I do. Anyway, I'm really pleased at how this build has turned out. It's a lot cleaner than the last one and I think that's probably because of that really odd fan heat sink that was on the CPU. But I'm really pleased with the cable management as well. I've managed to sort out that really weird sort of cable going through the onto the back and that's now sort of nicely tucked away and all of the everything is in there and seems to be working. Now, this represents, uh, because I didn't exactly build it myself, it sort of represents that sort of in-between part, the part where you have people who build everything themselves and have a fully built system. Having the CPU, RAM and fan and put on the motherboard for me uh, made life quite a lot easier for me. And if I bought the parts and did it all myself, then uh, that would have cost me just £15 less. Now, I know what you're saying, ha, huh, for £15 I'd rather do it myself. But what you get for that £15 really is peace of mind. Peace of mind because, just like you, I don't have lots of tech lying around. So when the parts come in and something isn't right with it, like the motherboard doesn't work properly, or the RAM doesn't work properly, you put it together, and nothing works, it doesn't work, and you've got to then send it back, wait a couple of weeks. By having Scan pre-build this into a unit for me and test it means they get to do all of that troubleshooting for me and supply me with working parts. Working parts that I wouldn't have if something is broken on arrival because I wouldn't be able to properly diagnose what part is actually wrong. 
So, I think for that, the 15 quid is actually worth it. So, let's talk about the build that Scan did, and the package arrived in uh, good condition, obviously. Uh, it's nice to see that the, they've taken care to put the fan the right way around. Not only that, the cable was nicely managed for the fan, and it all seems to be solidly put together, so I'm really pleased with that. Now, I know it's RGB, but I really don't care for RGB. This is just, uh, it's not a showpiece uh, PC, so uh, it's just gonna sit under the desk and illuminate my legs. RGB legs, now there's an idea. Anyway, what the customer experience with this was really good because after purchasing uh, the items, uh, the website gives you a the ability to track the system through the process of it being built. And when I actually finally put this together, they actually take a photograph of it and put it on the site. And I'm gonna take the photograph, I'm gonna put it on my Facebook page or on the Savvy Gadgets Facebook page. So then once they've done that, packaging, the packaging was excellent. It was really well packaged in lots of bubble wrap with all the, with the motherboard uh, box in the manual, uh, which was very useful. I needed to refer to that quite a bit. And so you can't really fault them on that. And all of that is to make sure that the unit uh, that they build gets to be in uh, the best possible condition. And it certainly has, and I'm really pleased with that. So, I'm going to install Windows and uh, some software and games and that kind of thing, get this machine into a position where I can then do some bench testing, and that's for another video. So, until that video, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.